How much difference does spending money make on your night lights? We're gonna find out in Cheap Lights versus Super Lights. So we've got two lights at opposite ends of the spectrum. Firstly, this one from our partner, Exposure. This is their six pack. So this is one of, if not the most technologically advanced lights on the market. You've got loads of different modes of this one, 10 different modes. So you can really customize the burn time on this. It's also got that reflex technology. So when you're going along, it's got an accelerometer in there that will bang the light up to max power, 4,750 lumens. You can also get a sync version of this. So using your phone app, you can then really personalize the burn times. It's 485 pounds, that truly is a super light. And now we have this one. Now, if you've ever shopped online for bike lights, you've probably seen these on Amazon or eBay. This is the Cree XML T6. And it costs a fraction of the price. It's 17 times cheaper than exposure. It's less than 30 pounds for this light. So it's now in two bits. You've got the light and then you've got a battery pack or it's an exposure six pack, that's all built in, one piece. So battery pack in there, you've got to strap to your bike somewhere. 14 LEDs, 45,000 lumens, three modes. You've got high, low, and flashing, but no run times are listed on the spec sheet. Let's have a quick look at what you get in the box. So a really nice box exposure, as you'd expect for the money. Uh, you get a fast charger. You also get a USB triple charger. You get that really nice quick release mount. In the Cree, this is exactly how it showed up on my doorstep. So not quite so nice, but fraction of price. There's your head strap, I guess, that mounts onto there. Um, and there is the charger, which showed up like that. In the UK, you have three prong chargers, and it's missing one, and there is a uh, little screw sticking out of there, so mm, not good. Wouldn't plug that into my house. I've got the Exposure 6 pack. This is the Cree light. I've got an Exposure Diablo on my head. What you got? I got a torch LED duct taped to my nut. 12 quid? 12 pounds. Not bad. Right, before we start riding, let's do a power test first. I can't believe that's 45,000. Yeah, you better be careful. I'm gonna set a bush fire. You ready? Boom! Uh, it's pretty bright, but that's, I'm calling BS on that. That is I, not as bright I, as a car. Light. That's not as bright as my lights on my car, no. All right, go on then. This, that should be 10 times more powerful than mine. Yeah. Boom. Oh, wow. Holy, look at the spread on it, though. Well, yours is never 45,000 lumens. Holy f moly. Right, what about a test then? Oh. Okay, then I'll try and chase you down, because it's scary with this beer by myself. It is, isn't it? Right. Try and catch me if you can, Neil. Got me. Go then, how's that then? Well, it's good. It, it's not sharp, if you know what I mean. You can't, I was second guessing the terrain in front of me. And then when I come to a turn, when I'm looking to around the corner, my head torch does <laughs> nothing. These are good, I know they're good. Also super handy is it tells me exactly how much time I've got left, so on uh. high and on low, so yeah. I know the plan I'm right, yeah. it's gonna run out. Yeah, yeah. Well, mine is green or red. Red means, Get home quick, it's gonna die. Let's put him to a real test. Hopefully there's not many nice turns. Nice for us as well. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> Bloody shit, the bed, I can't even freaking see. Oh my gosh, look at my light. Look where it's facing. And I went straight in the puddle, mud in my eye. Bloody light. 29 quid that was. Lovely. Look at this thing. It was facing the floor. I thought I was going to come off this one cliff. <laughs> it's, it's not turned off. It's died. Uh, well, it's, di it, uh, it's cheap. eBay description. It says here, more advanced than a car light. Highly doubt it. <laughs> Sturdy and stable. Mm. Yeah. Suitable for night flying. 
Would you put that on a jumbo? <laughs> Tell you what, Blake, I'll hook a brother up because in my Camelback bum bag, yeah. I've got a set of mid price oh, lights for you. Expose you. No. Now for the Joker in the pack, this is a light and motion Seca 2500 Enduro. Still a premium light, but it's 185 quid cheaper than the exposure light at 300 pounds. So you still get, uh, there's your headlight, but you also still have to find somewhere to stick your battery pack. So just like the really cheap Cree, it's a two piece thing. None of those smart features and intelligent stuff you get on the exposure, but it still puts out 2,500 lumens. You've got four Cree LEDs, because interesting to note, that's what the LEDs are actually called. So that's how those cheap lights get their name. So you've got six different power settings and burn times from two and a half hours on high up to 10 hours on low. These, what? Well, look at price. the size of that 300 quid these. So, yeah. Is it going to be better than that? They're dumb dusted, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> now that is what I call sturdy. Look at that. All right, we're cooking. We're cooking on lithium ion gas. Oh. Look how sharp that is compared to that Got death bad. thing. Follow me. I can see your bum. Well, you want to go down there? Well, I've ridden it in summertime in, in the, the daylight. Light, and it, yeah, it's quite steep. <laughs> That's Cray, not Cree, because that actually died. Crazy. Holy. Oh my god, Neil! You are so sideways! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! What was that? So unsurprisingly, the Superlight outperformed the cheap light in every way, including last in the ride. So many people are gonna be tempted by these. I have been, I've got a shoebox full of these Cree lights at my house. And of course, you could buy a new set of these every year for 17 years, same price as the Superlight. Yes, you could, but with that not last in the ride and that charger being so broken, we couldn't charge it again, we couldn't. Which brings us to the super lights. So we've got the exposure six pack and it's understudied the light in motion secker. Uh, without doubt, both of these are proper off-road mountain bike lights designed for the hardship of the trails. So the more money you invest, the more smart features and firepower you get with the exposure. That reflex where it uses that accelerometer to bat the light off if you stop and chat to your mates. As soon as you start moving again, it fires it back up to full power. Also, really importantly that I find, you get rid of that cable and that battery pack. So just a neater bit of kit. The light and motion without those smart features and with that external battery pack and that cable, but still gives you loads of power and a really usable light for plenty of fun on the trails. So no, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good enough light to do some proper trail riding. Generally speaking, if you go for one of those established brands, you can get a decent light for about hundred pounds. The more money you spend, the more features you add, the more power you add and the more runtime you get. Don't forget that it's still really important to get a helmet mounted light to pair with these bar mounted lights so you can see around corners and down drops. If you want to see some tips on night riding, click over there for a video all about that. Hit that sub button and give us a thumbs up if you really like riding at night. <laughs>